Hello friends, uh, today is our second day of piano learning. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations for starting up uh, your training uh, and we are doing it together so I'm so excited. Um, I've been watching a um, few uh, documentaries around how your brain reacts when you train yourself for uh, particularly anything like uh, any games or playing a uh, instrument or um, practicing something which you want to get in better of like typing speed and things like that and I realized that uh, it's more or less uh, not our body but it's actually uh, it, our brain uh, gets trained to repeat something with an advanced uh, skill set. So I'm going to show you a video which I found on TED which will uh, tell you about how our brain works when we keep repeating things again and again. And after uh, this video, we will start training for today. Okay, so keep watching. Mastering any physical skill, be it performing a pirouette, playing an instrument, or throwing a baseball, takes practice. Practice is the repetition of an action with the goal of improvement, and it helps us perform with more ease, speed, and confidence. So what does practice do in our brains to make us better at things? Our brains have two kinds of neural tissue, gray matter and white matter. The gray matter processes information in the brain, directing signals and sensory stimuli to nerve cells, while white matter is mostly made up of fatty tissue and nerve fibers. In order for our bodies to move, information needs to travel from the brain's gray matter down the spinal cord through a chain of nerve fibers called axons to our muscles. So how does practice or repetition affect the inner workings of our brains? The axons that exist in the white matter are wrapped with a fatty substance called myelin, and it's this myelin covering, or sheath, that seems to change with practice. Myelin is similar to insulation on electrical cables. It prevents energy loss from electrical signals that the brain uses, moving them more efficiently along neural pathways. Some recent studies in mice suggest that the repetition of a physical motion increases the layers of myelin sheath that insulates the axons. And the more layers, the greater the insulation around the axon chains, forming a sort of superhighway for information connecting your brain to your muscles. So while many athletes and performers attribute their successes to muscle memory, muscles themselves don't really have memory. Rather, it may be the myelination of neural pathways that give these athletes and performers their edge with faster and more efficient neural pathways. There are many theories that attempt to quantify the number of hours, days, and even years of practice that it takes to master a skill. While we don't yet have a magic number, we do know that mastery isn't simply about the amount of hours of practice. It's also the quality and effectiveness of that practice. Effective practice is consistent, intensely focused, and targets content or weaknesses that lie at the edge of one's current abilities. So if effective practice is the key, how can we get the most out of our practice time? Try these tips. Focus on the task at hand. Minimize potential distractions by turning off the computer or TV and putting your cell phone on airplane mode. In one study, researchers observed 260 students studying. On average, those students were able to stay on task for only six minutes at a time. Laptops, smartphones, and particularly Facebook were the root of most distractions. Start out slowly or in slow motion. Coordination is built with repetitions, whether correct or incorrect. If you gradually increase the speed of the quality repetitions, you have a better chance of doing them correctly. Next, frequent repetitions with allotted breaks are common practice habits of elite performers. Studies have shown that many top athletes, musicians, and dancers spend 50 to 60 hours per week on activities related to their craft. Many divide their time used for effective practice into multiple daily practice sessions of limited duration. And finally, practice in your brain in vivid detail. It's a bit surprising but a number of studies suggest that once a physical motion has been established, 
it can be reinforced just by imagining it. In one study, 144 basketball players were divided into two groups. Group A physically practiced one-handed free throws, while Group B only mentally practiced them. When they were tested at the end of the two-week experiment, the intermediate and experienced players in both groups had improved by nearly the same amount. As scientists get closer to unraveling the secrets of our brains, our understanding of effective practice will only improve. In the meantime, effective practice is the best way we have of pushing our individual limits, achieving new heights, and maximizing our potential. Okay friends, so how do you feel about this video? Isn't it interesting? Well, now I come to know that why people say that if you can't dream your goal, you can't achieve it. So basically, to train our brain and achieve our goal and get ourselves into practice that repetitive circle, we have to dream ourselves that we are playing piano. So with the same motivation, let's go forward and do our practice for today. So friends, as you remember, we have practiced for our right hand yesterday and remember we numbered them one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So we're gonna do the same practice for our right hand today, which is C, D, E, F, G, okay? So middle, which is starts from the C. C, D, E, F, G, G. Again, we will repeat uh, five times. C, D, E, F, G. 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 C, D, E, C, D, E, F, G for five times. C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F, G. Now, as we have repeated uh, five times with right hand, we will do the same for the left hand. Again, we have to do it reverse because this is the left hand initially and then once we get habitual with left hand we will uh, do c d e f g but right now we have to do g f e d c okay so we have to find which is the g chord first so as we got this is the middle c that means this is b and this is a so this is g f this is g g f E, D, C, okay? So again, G, F, G, F, E, D, C, G, F, E, D, C. Again, we will repeat, G, F, E, D, C. We have to do it uh, five times again. G F E D C G F E D C 
okay friends so now we have done 50 times uh, c d e f g and 50 times g f e d c so this is enough for our second day and we will do more practice tomorrow so keep motivated and uh, share this video to anybody who are willing to do the practice with us together and spread the word don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, send me your questions on the comments below and if i can help i'll just reply back to you okay thank you